I think that dance has become more and more popular thanks to, you know, those programs on television like So You Think You Can Dance, Dance With The Stars, Ultimate Battle, all these things. So I think that people are much more um, attracted to go and they start to understand the work there is behind. My name is Annabelle Lopez Ochoa. I'm a freelance choreographer. I'm based in Amsterdam and I've been invited by the Atlanta Ballet to reset Requiem for a Rose. <laughs> Let's do that again, this time from the beginning. So you're here. You're going to take flat here. The forehead opens. When it's good, you there. cannot explain why. Open. Picking. When it's bad, okay. you can go on and on with, with criticism. So it's, it's very difficult. For me, I can feel if a choreographer was afraid or not. Soutenu en tournant, chassé. If you're not afraid and you just put Let's your soul that. onto the stage and you manage, because you know, you're not dancing, when you manage to uh, transcend, to have the dancers transcend your idea, then it's always, there's always, um, yeah, magic happening. I wanted to investigate as a choreographer what romantic movement were. So I chose the most romantic music that I knew, which is the adagio of the quintet in C of Schubert. And I thought of putting 12 dancers in red skirts and they would be my roses. And as a counterpoint, I wanted to have one girl without skirt carrying a rose in her mouth as um, a metaphor for real love. So when it's love, for me, is something that is angular, that is not so pretty because it's not easy every day. And romance is the opposite. It's like a bouquet of roses. It's very pretty, but it lasts just one week. And that's for me, Requiem for a Rose, it's the end of a bouquet transforming into love. That's what the piece is about.